Rubrics are made up of rows and columns. The rows correspond to the various criteria of an assignment. The columns correspond to the level of achievement expressed for each criterion. A description and point value for each cell in the rubric defines the evaluation and score of an assignment. Creating and associating rubrics save you valuable time during the grading process. First, let's look at how to create a new rubric in Blackboard. On the control panel, expand the Course Tools section and click Rubrics. On the Rubrics page, click Create Rubric on the action bar. Type a name and optionally provide a description of the rubric to make it easier to associate it to relevant assignments. New rubrics default to three rows and three columns. Edit the rubric grid so that it corresponds to the type of feedback and scoring appropriate for the assignment. Click Add Row to add a new criterion at the bottom of the grid. Click Add Column to add a new level of achievement to the grid. Then choose a rubric type from the drop-down list. No Points offers feedback only. Points gives a single point value for each level of achievement. Point Range provides a range of values for each level of achievement or percent, which is the most flexible adapting to an assignment's possible points. And percent range also offers a range of values for each level of achievement. Click Edit from a label's contextual menu to change their names. A label identifies the rows and columns with heading names. Type a point or percentage value for each row. Type a description, defining the criteria and the associated level of achievement. Each cell has a thousand character level. You can reorder rows and columns by clicking the reordering functions located above the labels. After you use a rubric for grading, you cannot edit it. You can copy the rubric to create a duplicate rubric that you can edit. When you are using percent-based rubrics, select from the following options. On the action bar, select Show Criteria Weight checkbox to show or hide criteria weights. If additional rows are added when weights are hidden, weights for new criteria are distributed equally. Use the Balance Weights function after adding a new row to keep all criteria weighted equally. If you prefer individual criteria weighting, type percentages for each criterion. You must select the Show Criteria Weight checkbox for the Balance Weights function to appear. The total weight for all criteria must equal 100%. No row may have a 0% weight at least one level of achievement must have a value of 100%. When you're done, click Submit. Associated rubrics are visible in the Grading and Rubric sections for Assignments, Essay, Short Answer, and File Response Test Questions, Blogs and Journals, Wikis, as well as Discussion Board Forums and Threads. To associate a rubric during the editing or creation process, point to Add Rubric to access the drop-down list and choose one of these options. Select Rubric associates a rubric that you created in the Rubrics area of Course Tools. Create New Rubric opens a pop-up window to allow immediate creation of a new associated rubric. Create from Existing uses a previously created rubric as a template to create a new associated rubric. We'll choose Select Rubric and choose the rubric we just created. Click here once you've selected the rubric. When associating a points-based rubric, the option to use the rubric's points value as the points possible are available after clicking Submit on the rubric creation or selection page. You can also associate a rubric in the Grade Center by accessing a column's contextual menu and clicking Edit Column Information. Finally, use the following steps to grade using rubrics. Access the gradable item in the Grade Center or on the Needs Grading page. Click View Rubric to review or begin grading with the associated rubric. In Grid View, 
Click a cell to apply that point value to the grade. If a rubric with point ranges is used, select the appropriate value from the drop-down list. To change the selection, click another cell in the same row. Optionally, type feedback to the student in the text box that appears when a cell is selected. You can also click List View to switch displays and select an option for each criterion to apply that point value to the grade. Select the checkboxes to show descriptions for criteria and to show feedback text boxes. A running raw total score appears as you make point selections. Optionally, type a score in the Change the Number of Points box to override the selected score. And type overall feedback to the student using the full features of the content editor. When grading is complete, click Exit to leave the rubric without saving your selections, or click Save to save the score and feedback and return to the attempt.